Once you add an SEO plugin to your WordPress site, everything will just fall into place, isn't it? First page ranks, tons of traffic, lots of money. No. In this video, I'm going to break some of the myths about the whole damn thing called SEO for WordPress and tell you from my experience some hard truths. Also, which are the best SEO plugins for WordPress available today? Let's go. I think this video is going to rank by itself on number one on YouTube and Google because nobody has attempted this topic like forever, right? I'm the first. Let's see. So first things first, WordPress is a bad choice for SEO. There, I said it. You might be wondering why. Well, here's the thing. WordPress is a great CMS and certain things are taken care of right out of the box, but SEO is not one of them, unfortunately. There are many areas in WordPress that if you don't tweak or pay attention to, will create issues and major issues. Like for example, duplicate content. There are areas like archives, tag pages, etc., where there are duplicate content issues and if not taken care of, can affect your site negatively. Now, many of those issues can be taken care of by using the right SEO plugin, but not everything. And I'm talking from my experience. SEO plugins for WordPress can only help with one thing, and that is setting the basics right. Imagine like you're building a house. The SEO plugin you use would be kind of like the foundation you lay, and upon which you have to build other major structures as you go ahead, and that's how it works. So if anyone thinks that just by adding an SEO plugin, you're gonna solve all your SEO issues, then no, that is not right but i'm sure you knew that already because you're smart so let's get to the plugins and before i jump into this list here are my priorities and conditions that i kept in mind for choosing these plugins i'm not listing the most popular plugins out there because popularity doesn't mean quality all the time well sometimes they do but not all the time i'm looking at speed speed is a crucial thing today and even if your plugin has tons of features i wouldn't be using it because if it added four seconds to my page load time no thank you community and the team behind it is important today having a passionate team behind your product is so much important because we've seen so many instances where we used a popular product and then one fine day someone bought it and boom everything's gone no that's not happening and finally, the underdogs, my favorite one. I have an inclination to find and support the underdogs because almost all the time, the kind of hunger you see from them is just amazing and this results in great products. Try to support the underdogs, they deserve it. So today we'll start from the bottom up. Start with the fourth one and end with the best plugin last. So watch the full video. I have a bonus at the end as well. Okay, so fourth plugin on the list is All-in-One SEO. Talking about this plugin actually makes me emotional. That was a good time. Because this was my favorite plugin back in 2007, a Swiss Army knife of SEO back then. It had everything from title tag optimization to sitemaps and whatnot all in one place. Earlier, we used to have multiple plugins for SEO, but in 2007, all that changed and it was great. This plugin was leagues apart compared to other SEO plugins out there, but as time passed, things changed. If I recall correctly, and correct me if I'm wrong, they changed ownership at some point of time and for the longest time it wasn't updated. It had some nasty ads in the back end and wasn't a pleasure even to work with. So before you knew it, it turned stale. And that's when everyone switched to Yoast and the other options. Well, as of today, All-in-One SEO has come back, worked on the loose ends and it's a great plugin today. They call themselves the original SEO plugin. Well, like I said, it makes me nostalgic and emotional talking about this plugin, but it still lacks a lot of features compared to the rest out there. Some 5 million users have downloaded this plugin so you can imagine how popular it is. But I have to let go of it. We have some amazing plugins ahead on the list. So number three on my list is Yoast SEO. Everybody knows Yoast, right? It has a great team behind it. Yoast DevWalk, the very popular SEO expert and a great plugin. It had a great run in the last one decade or so and it ended up being the most popular plugin ever on the WordPress repository, I think. But there were glitches and a lot of issues. The most popular one was in 2018 where the plugin caused some section of the users to get their site de-indexed from Google because of a small glitch that created several low quality image redirect posts on your website. It wasn't a big deal for most of us, but for those who got affected, it took them a while to recover and possibly lost them business as well. But other than that, the plugin has been pretty stable. They have a free version as well as a paid version, but with the new kids on the block, like Rank Map, for example, Yoast is finding it tough to catch up with competition, at least in my perspective. As in, I agree that it has a good set of features and everything, but it's not very easy to use. I think I'm pretty good with using these tools, but sometimes I find myself lost with Yoast. Lost with Yoast, that's nice. Because the UX is a bit tricky, and the onboarding process and the fine tuning of certain features are not very easy to get accomplished with. Yoast has an amazing fan following and I'm sure there are experts who knows it like the back of their hand. But I personally think that it's high time they thought about a rewrite. I mean the thought process behind 
hiding or not making it easy to find certain features etc are kind of disappointing. As far as features are concerned, like I mentioned, even some of the features that are available on their pro version or the paid version is available for free on other plugins like Rank Map. If you use Yoast for the love of it, let's say, well, you're likely to be ending up with using a few more plugins to get with other SEO stuff and that might actually affect your page load time. So I feel we need a Yoast 2.0 or 3.0 at this point, a lightweight, completely rewritten plugin that's fast and easy to use and offers a better experience altogether. So even though popular, we have Yoast on the third spot. Moving on to the second best WordPress SEO plugin. Number two on my list is SEO Press. SEO Press has been around for a while, even when Yoast was ruling the SEO game on WordPress. I found their approach to be a little bit more grounded and focused without all the fanfare and shouting. And because of this, I've seen them come up with updates and features that pretty much were quick and at the times often without glitches or bugs. Yoast, I'm looking at you. <laughs> so feature-wise, if you compare with Yoast, there are a few things that are unique to SEO Press. Features like HTML sitemap generation. With Yoast, you would need to install a new plugin just for that. But with SEO Press, you have HTML sitemap inbuilt. Some of you may argue that HTML sitemaps are not a big deal these days. I would argue against it. For sites that have good hierarchy and a lot of content, HTML sitemaps are very useful, especially for getting new content indexed. So why exclude it? That's a whole thought. SEO Press has integration with Google Tag Manager, Google Ads, and Google Analytics right within itself. But with Yoast, you would need to install additional three plugins for it. Not good. So generally, SEO Press's UX experience is a lot more easy and pleasing to use than Yoast. Maybe Rank Math comes to a very close competition at this, but as a plugin that has been around and doing this for a while now, it's pretty commendable that they're focused on UX well ahead of others. Now, SEO Press is a freemium plugin, which means that they have a free version and a paid version. The paid version has all unique features and I suggest getting a paid version it comes to around $39 per year and you can use it on how many of our websites you need that's a pretty good deal in my opinion some of the unique features that are available with SEO Press paid version includes Google schemas, broken link finder, redirections, video XML sitemaps, photo for monitoring, and the like. The main disadvantage with SEO Press is that you might need the paid version in order to take full advantage of it, and it might come pricey to a few. In terms of coding, I think, and I haven't fully verified this, they are coded better and have a known blotted clean architecture, which makes it a fast plugin. You might have noticed that some amateur WordPress SEO plugins have seriously bloated code that when you use features like like broken link monitor or bulk edits etc it slows down your website at least from the back end and i haven't had such an experience with seo press yet also they don't have any ads like many free plugins and absolutely no footprint so it doesn't leave empty database tables etc once you install the plugin it's a very clean install and something to be appreciated try out the free version the link is in the description below so number one on my list is none other than Rank Math. I guess that was easy to guess. Right? Well, Rank Math is the new kid on the block. I think they waited for so long so it could get the last mover advantage, and it did. Rank Math is a shiny new tool in SEO that has probably everything you're looking for in a WordPress SEO plugin. I see they were planning this for a long time, watching what Yoast and others did and didn't so that they could undercut and overpower them. Rank Math is like the Swiss Army knife of SEO. It is lightweight, powerful, and can probably get rid of 10 other plugins that you currently use, especially when coming to Yoast there's a ton of value you're getting with Rank Math and that too with the free version. Rank Math is by the way a free plugin right now and a pro version is in the works. They say that their code is 66% lighter than Yoast. I haven't tested it nor do I know anyone who has but I think it might be a fair claim. In experience it's a very fast plugin to use for sure. I think Rank Math was built keeping the pro Yoast users in mind but I could be mistaken. The reason I say it is because if you see their roadmap and their features it almost takes down Yoast feature by feature. It offers everything from Yoast Pro and then a lot more features on top of it. Specifically speaking, Rank Math provides features such as SEO analysis, LSI keyword integration, automatic image SEO, keyword suggestions, redirections, a lot of schema markup, and a whole lot more. It's feature loaded and at the same time streamlined. What I really like about Rank Math is the thought process behind it and the way they have designed the plugins. It's super easy for onboarding, be it from scratch or moving from another plugin like Yoast. Getting into the settings, the fine tunings is all super easy. I can find what I'm looking for in like three clicks or less and there are helpful prompts 
everywhere. While using the plugin, you get to see what you really need and that's great because it doesn't just throw all of the features right at your face. You can pick and choose what you want and turn off the ones that you don't. But at the same time, it's got everything that you can think of from an SEO perspective and that makes it the Swiss army knife of SEO. Having said all that, there are also concerns with Rank Math. I'm curious to see what they have to offer in the future, like how their roadmap would evolve and what the pro plugin has to offer. Also, what would they do with their free users? Also, recently a vulnerability has been discovered in the plugin where a hacker could attack the plugin and get admin access to your site. But it was attended to and fixed immediately by the team and nobody suffered any losses. That was an impressive maneuver by the team. All right, guys, before I wrap up the video, I also want to throw in a bonus here and that is the SEO framework plugin. This is a very interesting plugin in the sense that their approach is very different from the plugins I just mentioned earlier. There's a lot of automation with this plugin, be it in the onboarding process or setting up advanced stuff. According to the makers, a major part of your SEO settings with this plugin would be configured automatically and you only need to take care of a few things manually. So for those looking for an easy solution to SEO, this might be a good plugin. Like those who don't want to worry about which pages to no follow, which pages to no index and the like. This plugin would do its own magic. But then that also comes as a disadvantage in the sense that it might not make control freaks like me happy. SEOs like me would want to control every fine-tuned aspect of my website so I wouldn't trust a plugin blindly to take care of it. Also the free version of this plugin is pretty basic and you would need to buy their extensions in order to get advanced features and that comes at a price and I don't really enjoy that model. But if you're the type who don't want to worry about SEO and want an expert plugin to take care of things for you then you might find this plugin interesting. Check it out the link is in the description. So there you have it guys four of the best WordPress SEO plugins out there in the market today. They're also so promising and I'm so excited to see the new developments in this space. Some of their features and roadmaps are so promising. I hope you liked the video. If you have any questions, complaints or disagreements with what I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. I'm all yours. If you want to pressurize me into making more such amazing content, please do three things. Hit the subscribe button, the like or dislike button and the bell icon. I promise I'll make more amazing content like this video. This is Mani Karthik signing off.